So if there are any questions, certainly I'll, I'll answer them. Do you whistle? Do I who? Whistle. No, man, I can't whistle. <laughs> got, I got spaces in my teeth. And I, I used to be able to whistle. But how come you ask? I'm going to whistle it too. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no. Way back there. Um, could you expand a little bit more on your statement? The most important thing is not truth, but the truth of the picture. Can you, can you go expand a little bit on that, please? That can be expanded for a long time. Oh. <laughs> um, truth out in the street, or shall we say the variable, the var the variables of life can be perceived in a truthful way, but the absolute truth can't be known. And the variables of a picture, within all its, its precepts and its limitations, a certain truth about how the picture is formed, what the moment is within it, the light, et cetera, et cetera, can be at least entered and potentially sustained. But it has to be within a limited space that truth can live in a, if you will, empirical way. Can't, you can't know the truth. And I, I'm not a fan of, of, of fake facts and Donald Trump's understanding of That's not what I'm talking about, but you know. But anyhow, it's, the picture has its own peculiar sensibility and can be the truth of itself. Meaning when I crop this thing out or this or that, the picture in this case is more important than the truth of the fact of the matter of the stuff that was in it. The picture becomes the universe. The universe is where it was taken from. from it seems like you photograph a lot of um, political events. Speak up. It seems like you photograph a lot of political events. Yeah. Um, before the current administration, what was the scariest point of any political event that you covered? The excluding, excluding the current administration. Oh, man. Well, I, I just photographed, uh, you know, demonstrations. If they were, we had, we were, we were bereft of that for a long, long time. But then I would go down and just photograph, you know, the, the caucuses and the this and the that and something like that. No specific um, ideological rigor. Just the idea that I wanted to be, I wanted to be present in in the unfolding of history. Not too much more than that. I think that's all the time that we have for this evening, but we want to, you can ask him afterwards maybe, but what, thank you so that? much, Larry, for coming and sitting with us.